Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to create this Valentine's Day makeup look. Lately I've just been watching a lot of Valentine's Day makeup look tutorials and most of them seem really hard to do. So I decided to create this makeup tutorial that is beginner friendly. For this look, I picked pretty standard makeup products that a lot of brands carry. So don't even worry about using the exact same products that I used in this video. You can find similar products and you can still recreate this look. This is a look that's very easy to wear. You don't have to worry about doing any touch-ups or anything like that because we just used CC cream and concealer. So that's not gonna get cakey or anything like that. I know my eye look looks a bit intimidating but it's not. I actually just used two colors to create that entire look and I love that you can't tell that I just used two colors. I also used cream blush under the powder blush because the powder blush is actually the first thing that fades out of your face. So when that fades out, it's good to have that cream blush right under it. I said so many things already, so let's just get on to the tutorial. For primer, I'm gonna be using my LA Girl Pro Prep HD Smoothing Face Primer. Now, this is a primer that I've actually been using a lot lately and it's been working out for me so I'm just gonna use this one today so I'm just gonna put this everywhere <laughs> you can skip this step if you want but I find that my makeup stays on longer and better and smoother when I put primer on first for this look I've decided to go with CC cream instead of foundation because I'm not really going for that full coverage look I just want to even out my skin tone and you know just look Put together. I'm using the Face Shop Miracle Finish Intense Cover Cushion in Natural Beige. This also has SPF in it, so it's really great for everyday use as well. And I'm really just after a light coverage. Now the reason I went for something so lightweight is because I don't want to be worrying about caking or touching up throughout the night. So this is the best option for that. Now I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer on my T-zone. I'll also add to my lids to prime it. Now that I'm done with my base, I'm going to be adding cream blush. So I'm going to be using the BH Cosmetics Illuminate by Ashley Tisdale in Coco. So I'm just going to add these to my cheeks. Oh, that's, that's a lot. I love using cream blushes because they just give me a nice natural flush. Now it's time to set everything with powder. I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Matte Magique BB Veil. This is one of my favorite drugstore powders in the world and I just like packing it on my under eye and on my T-zone. Now I'm going to be using a bigger fluffier brush to set the rest of my face. For my brows, I'm going to be using the Nishido Brow Master Eye Pencil in Coco. So I'll just brush my brows upward with the spoolie and then I'll fill it in with the products. So I'm starting at the center and working my way outward. That's it for my brows. It actually came out a little bit darker than I would have wanted it to. So for you guys, I suggest that you go in with a lighter hand. To round up my face, I'm going to be using the Everbelena Advanced Blush Duo. So this comes with a blush and bronzer. I'm going to be taking my big powder brush on that contour and I'm going to put it right on my face. Now I'm going to be taking a smaller brush to carve out my nose. I'll also take a little bit on my chin to make my lips look bigger. I'm just going to blend this out. 
Now I'm gonna add this powder blush all over my cheeks. So I'm just gonna put it right on top of the cream blush. Now the reason I do cream blush and then powder blush is so that the blush lasts longer. Powder blush is actually the first thing that fades so it's great to have another layer of cream blush right under it so you'll still be blushed. Now it's time for the eyes. I'm gonna be using the BH Cosmetics Carly Bible Deluxe Edition palette. Now this palette actually has a lot of beautiful shades but I wanted to create a very easy beginner friendly look so I'm just gonna be using two shades out of all of these beautiful shades in this palette. I'm gonna be taking this crease brush and I'm gonna be dipping it into this dark brown matte color and I'm gonna be putting it all over my lid. Now with a more precise brush, I'm gonna be taking that same brown color under my eyes. Now I'm going to be taking a loose brush and I'm going to be blending out all the harsh lines. Now I'm going to be dipping this flat brush into this beautiful peachy metallic shade. I'm going to put that all over the center of my lid. Now I'm going to be taking the loose brush to blend everything together. To highlight my face, I'm going to be using this beautiful rose gold shade. Now I'm going to curl my lashes and add mascara. So I just want my eyes to look really open and awake. For mascara, I'm going to be using my Voluminous Million Lashes. For the lips, I'm going to be using my Milani lipstick in the shade Matte Darling. I love the shade of this lipstick. It's just such a beautiful, pinky, mauve type of shade and I think it's going to look great with this look. To make the lips look more plump, I'm going to be adding my Smashbox Lip Gloss in the shade Exposed. This is a peachy nude gloss that will just tie the whole look together. That's basically it for the face. Now I'm going to be adding some highlight to my collarbones. I'm going to be taking the same highlight right there. Ooh, that looks really good. Also on my shoulders, just where the light hits your shoulders. For the final step, I'm gonna be setting everything in place with my setting spray. This is nothing special, it's basically just water that I put in a spray bottle. This is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this Valentine's Day makeup tutorial. This is a look that would go with any type of outfit. You can wear pink, you can wear red, you can wear black, you can wear white, and this would still look really good. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone.